It's not just radio, it's Rockland World Radio. RocklandWorldRadio.com Welcome to Talk About a Car, heard on Rockland World Radio. You can go to the Talk About a Car program page to watch past programs of Talk About a Car. Now the host of Talk About a Car, Ms. Cora Harrell. something for you talking about Portia Stewart. <laughs> Wait until I tell you about that. <laughs> but first off, we're going to talk about Beyonce. Well, on one of my previous shows, I was discussing with you, uh, Beyonce was doing the uh, getting ready for the Miss Carter tour, and I suspected that she wanted to have another baby. And of course, it's true. I have a, a nice... Uh, the photo of her here at Shape Magazine. But before I show you that, I just want to read something to you. In Miss Beyonce's interview with Shape Magazine this year, uh, of course she is the house of Dorian. She is the spokesmodel for that. That is her line. She revealed that she hopes to have another baby after the end of her forthcoming Miss Carter World Tour. She says that's right, what will come as an excellent news for her family that she shared. She also expressed some uh, things concerning the birth of her last child. Miss Beyonce states, breastfeeding took care of the first 30 pounds. I was amazed at how the weight just fell off of me. But I had to work very hard to lose the last 25 pounds because I'd scheduled a show just three months after I gave birth. Miss Beyonce says, let me tell you, I will never do that again. I'll probably start trying to have another child after this tour. We'll see what happens. And I have a picture that I want to show you of her. Uh, she took this shooting for Shape Magazine. Of course, she looks great. There's Mrs. B. I want to have another baby tell the world. Doesn't she look great? I like Beyonce. She's a very talented individual. All right. And we're going to move forward with that. Who else is in the news? I think we're going to go right into... Uh, we're going to talk about Portia. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Now, Portia Stewart is from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I watch them all the time, and I recently saw uh, the show where... Uh, Nene Leakes had invited all the girls to come out to her place, and they were all going to a uh, strip show, and Miss Portia didn't want to go. She says that she's a Christian woman, and I believe she didn't want to go because, you know, it was against her beliefs. And she didn't go the first time, but the second time she went, and I believe this is part of... Uh, the results that happened because she did go. All right, here we go. Recently, NFL star Cordell Stewart has filed for a divorce from his wife of almost two years, Portia Stewart. Citing the marriage is 
irretrievable and broken. Now, according to the Fulton County Superior Court in Georgia, the 40-year-old filed for divorce from his reality TV Real Housewives of Atlanta star wife on March 22nd. This is the report from TMZ. Stewart and Williams were married on May 21st, 2011. They have no children together. Stewart has a son from a previous relationship. According to TMZ, Portia says she was blindsided by Cordell's divorce filing, claiming she learned about it from a website. It seems Cordell also believes he shouldn't have to pay Portia a single cent in spousal support, claiming she's an able-bodied person, earning income, and is capable of supporting herself. Oh, well, all's well that ends well. That's what they say. You know, sometimes you just have to move on. And I just want to show you a picture of Portia and Stewart just in case you don't know who they are. Lovely couple, aren't they, though? Oh, well, it's 2013. In with the old, in with the new, out with the old. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> we're going to talk about Kim Kardashian and uh, Kanye and their bundle of joy. You know, Kim has gained a tremendous amount of weight, but she looks beautiful. She is carrying it well. And she was recently seen on Good Day America, and she was discussing... Her pregnancy and uh, she was also talking about that role that she played in the uh, Tyler Perry movie Temptations and I'm going to show you a clip of this she looks great okay Kim Kardashian. I'm to be the beautiful Kim Kardashian, who is starring in Tyler Perry's new film called Temptation. It tells the story of a young married woman who's tempted into betraying her husband. And we have a clip. Take a look. Ava, I don't have to wear fancy dresses or fancy shoes to prove that I'm qualified to do my job. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I yeah, have a you degree. Do. A degree? Yes. A degree on the wall without labels on your back is nothing. That blouse, it's telling it all. So does your dress. What's wrong with my dress? Can you even breathe, Ava? You don't breathe in Hervé. <laughs> I love it. Quote to live by, Kim Kardashian. So how did you like getting involved in a movie, acting? It was really fun. You know, it was really different than, you know, the shooting the reality show that I do. And you've done, so. I've seen you on a couple of TV shows. You've done a little bit of acting, but this is a big deal. Yeah. Tyler Perry, Vanessa Williams. And working with Tyler was just amazing. I mean, he makes you feel really confident. And the role that we chose for me was, you know, I'm not that harsh as my character Ava, but I definitely love to help out and give advice. So yeah. it was fun to kind of play a mean girl a little bit. Was it, yeah. It's out of your comfort zone, though, to be snarky. I feel like... What yeah. We, what we know of you is you're of your sisters. You're that's not you. I'm not the snarky one, but it was it was fun to play that character, and then I kind of was able to bring that home. I was gonna say, did you find that that spilling over a little bit into your real life? Did you find yourself speaking out a little bit more? It didn't last too long. No. Yeah, my sisters kind of put me in check, but it was fun just to play a character, and you know, I I found that I was definitely comfortable in front of the cameras because I'm so used to it at home when we're filming, but it's almost this pressure because there's so many people depending on you for the script yeah. and you want to make sure you, you get everything so right. Heck so yeah. it was it was fun though. I love doing it. I want to do more. Tyler's films always have some takeaway, a lesson if you will. Um, do, is there one that you were able to bring home and into your relationship with Kanye? Uh, yeah, well I always say now just for anyone, because um, this film, I love how Tyler really flips the script and kind of 
puts uh, temptation not just on the man, it's more on the woman and all the girls, you know, especially the main character, Judith, the temptation that she has to kind of cheat on her husband mm-hmm. and this whole story it's about sort of it not taking twist. not taking care of your partner, right? It's I mean, kind of like, and now I always say the grass um, isn't greener on the other side; it's greener where you water it. Yeah. So you just it has a whole twist, though. So you really have to check it out. And did did it make you approach things? I mean, you're in a you're with a very very busy guy. You're incredibly busy. Did it make you change the way you behaved? Did it, did it teach you about sort of how to make time for each other in a better way? Well, I think no matter what relationship you're in, there's just temptation just around being in the business. But as long as you really just have a strong relationship and you make that a priority, um, you don't really have to feed yeah. into that time. And, and a big priority is, is happening right now. Congratulations. A big, a big one. Not really very big. How are you feeling? I feel really good. You know, I feel I have like so much energy I'm not tired I haven't had morning sickness so I, I feel really lucky about that I, did you just tweet that you bought flats <laughs> I, I, I have to I have to check your temperature time. and <laughs> you know what they actually hurt my back like they are not I was just saying out there someone was like how are you wearing such high heels I love high heels I think whatever you feel good in I know it's I see things Courtney warned me that when you become a mom or become pregnant, there will be this whole new group of critics that uh-huh. will criticize you for everything you do. I mean, if I wear one color of clothes, I'm in this kind of mood, they think. Or if I wear heels, it's, you know, Something harmful. Else. And it's, I, I think my theory is happy mommy, happy baby. So mm-hmm. whatever makes me feel good, I want to wear. And I love wearing heels. So I'm trying the flats, but... We'll see. Well, you sound like you're <laughs> in a really, really good place. I am. Congratulations on Thank the baby, you. Kanye, and the new film. Everybody Thank check you. it out. It's called Temptation. It's in theaters this Friday. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Wow, what a great interview. And Kim, again, she played in Temptation, was, which is a Tyler Perry movie, which all of his movies are extremely well made. I'm a big fan of Tyler Perry. And again, we want to congratulate Kim and Kanye on the baby and Kim on her role in Temptation. And that's going to be the talk for today on Talk About It, Cora, where we talk about fashion, beauty, celebrity, and glamour. As always, it is a pleasure to see you. I will see you next week, same time, same place. Love you. Rockland World Radio. 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 Rockland World Radio.